Hi, welcome to this video series where I answer questions from the readers of Monovator.com. Monovator is the leading UK blog for personal finance related issues. The, the question of this video comes from Barnell who asks, given UK tax laws on pension, ISA, capital gains tax, etc., how should you manage your um, uh, portfolio for withdrawal in a tax efficient way? Now, I want to try to answer this question without really giving a good answer. <laughs> um, I, I, tax ad advice is typically incredibly jurisdictional specific and also highly personal. Um, I personally find it very, very frustrating that financial advice for people like myself um, often come um, completely separate from tax considerations, which obviously can skew the results of any good uh, financial allocation decision. Um, on the other hand, I sometimes find that tax lawyers um, can make relatively simple things appear far com more complex than they have to be because you know they're not exactly paid uh, to, to keep things short and simple when they're paid by the hour. Um, but that all said, um, I find that uh, you probably do need uh, advice for your specific situation. It doesn't have to be expensive. Uh, you can prepare the questions in advance, go online, look for specific answers, and then contact tax lawyers that will, um, with very specific questions that they will probably have good answers for, and at least answers that are up to date with the current legislation. Um, generally, I would say try to avoid paying tax sooner than you have to. If you can pay uh, a deferred tax payments, imagine you have 100 uh, pounds, um, of which 40 is due in tax. Well, if you defer payment even just for one year, that means you're, you're uh, earning interest or um, capital returns on 100 instead of the resulting 60 after tax for that one year. So that's that's a, that, that's a benefit. Of course, in the world of negative interest rate, there are some you know, complications to that rule, but generally I think that still holds, holds true. Um, I'd also say pay attention to the, the rumblings of change if there are elections coming up, um, as there is right now in the UK, um, and there could be a, a change in government. It could be quite important to understand how, um, how, how a new government would impact the, the, the tax setup, and if there's anything that makes sense to do before an election. Um, finally, I'll say in terms of um, withdrawals, uh, think about your portfolio allocation when you do withdraw um, from, from it. Let's say you have a, a, a desired allocation of 50% bonds, 50% equities, um, but that your current portfolio is 55-45. Uh, and one in in that case, you can use the withdrawal to to realign your portfolio so it's more in line with what you want to do. In this case, you should have withdraw from the, the bonds or, or, or sell some bonds, um, uh, which will get you closer to the 50-50 desired uh, allocation without having to incur trading trading uh, charges that you otherwise would. The, 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 another thing I would mention is there is, in some people's portfolio, certain liquidity windows. So if you have uh, investments that may only be liquid every so often, it's certainly worth keeping in mind whether uh, a withdrawal, uh, even if it's suboptimal from perhaps even a tax, but also a financial perspective, but a, from a liquidity window perspective, that there is a, an opportunity to get some cash out. Um, I very often find that that's a, that's a very good thing to do. Uh, but normally I say I hope that answers the question. I know it sort of didn't, but I wanted to give you a flavor for the kind of thinking that goes around uh, tax and why I think it is important to get good specific tax advice. Um, but also why I, I myself find it frustrating to, um, to uh, sometimes contrast the finance and tax advice and try to fit it all together without having a really good overall advisory package. Um, my name is Lars Croyer. I'm a former hedge fund manager who's written a couple of books about finance, and I'm now doing some videos and blogs as, as a hobby. Uh, the premise of a lot of my work revolves around how incredibly hard it is for the vast majority of uh, investors to outperform the markets. I explain what this means and why I think it's a hugely positive thing for most people to come to embrace and understand this premise. I explain more in, um, in other videos and blogs uh, about this if you're interested. But thanks a lot for watching. Um, as I said, there are other videos in this series if you're interested, but in any case, I hope you found this one interesting.